What is up guys? It's been ages. I've been very busy. Um you know obviously working on the tank and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh yeah, the little one's been keeping me on my toes. But yeah, I'm gonna do a quick little tank update here for you guys. Um actually miss recording these videos. So as you can see the SPS I mean probably the last three months has grown crazy, yeah. So uh, from February um I started using that Poseidon's layer reef salt. Um obviously the tank well in the beginning it did take uh, a bit of getting used to but yeah that salt was absolutely amazing so thank you so much again to um Poseidon's layer for that salt. Um I've recently started using the Aqua Forest uh reef salt, you know, just to try something a bit different because I am using all the other uh, aquaforest dosing products so yeah so as you can see guys there's a good good couple of new additions i can start here with this little spinner damsel um i had a little bit of flatworm uh in the beginning he wasn't too interested and then yeah eventually he just took a lock into it and if i see one in my tank now it's a lot so yeah and he's pretty chilled he doesn't give any of my other fish any problems um and if we come down here what else do I have that's new? Oh, I got. There we use. A little cleaner shrimp. Been wanting one of those for ages. And then I also tried another mandarin goby. He's in here somewhere. But yeah. Um, I eventually just moved one or two corals. I got a lot of new zoas. So the garden over here. There, there. <laughs> um, over there is getting shaded by the, the purple digi, but obviously my SPS on the top is, you know, makes my tank. So um, I'm going to obviously leave it as it is. Um, yeah, got a couple of green uh, encrusting leptosaurus there. The orange one's doing pretty good. I eventually moved the blasters over there. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of those pallies there. I put my um, my Acon Lord that I got from uh, Coral Gardens, but I think the flow is a bit too much there. Um, my Dragon Soul got stung, and then I got the green plate coral back. Um, I wasn't doing too good in my mate's tank, so I've got it back. I'm going to try and get it up and running again. And I'm busy with another little Zoe Garden always wanted one on my substrate but I always had fish that would make a whole bunch of nonsense and just cover everything but yeah as you can see it's all a new dry rock so it still needs to get the coral and algae and everything on it again um, got those cloves so yeah so once that's grown out I think it's gonna look absolutely amazing um, got those red magicians there haven't been looking too happy lately and yeah and you guys let's talk about the biggest upgrade of all I got my Ecotech Radeon Gen 3 lights above my TL550 now you guys know that the last video I had a bit of problems with my lights and yeah but anyway it's up it's on and I can tell you this light is absolutely amazing. I think I'm only running it on about 55% on the AB plus schedule. Um, comes on at 9 a.m. and goes off at 9 p.m. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been a while, but it just seems like I don't really have much updates. Still rocking the Poseidon's Lair um, frag rack there. There he is. And he's nice and fat. I had him for going on about maybe a month and a half. And yeah, he's still super happy in the tank. Going all around. He's a little bit camera shy. He's not used of the camera. But that's that, guys. So, the major changes, basically the light and the salt. Um... I might be doing another brand soon. Um, 
but I want to talk too much on that yet because I don't know if that if it's, it's if it's a go ahead yet. But yeah, um, you know I'm always keen to try new things for you guys. Um, I'll be the test dummy if to call it that. But yeah, look at that. And this convict, he's gonna have to come out the tank soon. So this is the first time I've ever actually been able to keep a convict. I've tried so many of them. There's obviously a whole bunch of local ones on our shoreline here in the Eastern Cape. Um, and yeah, I've never been able to keep them. My tanks have always been too clean. So this one I got, he probably didn't even have much stripes on. Well, he had stripes obviously, but it wasn't that bright yet. And I got the Ocean Nutrition Spirulina Flex, if that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, that's pretty much what keeps him going. He absolutely loves the stuff. And so do all my other fish. From using that, that um, those exact flakes, um, the color in my fish have been absolutely amazing. So yeah, got a bunch of stuff on my frag rack that I need to um, place. Tank is obviously getting a bit full. All these are going to go up on the rack. I got this little Aiken, he's still new and settling. So once I see how things go there, he's going to go up there somewhere. Um, I need something for that gap. I had the Pandora um, Pallies but they were growing a bit, a bit much. But yeah, here it was. That's this update. Um, thanks looking good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little update. I'll definitely be back with more videos very, very soon. Cheers.